Hyaluronic acid supplements in the human clinical studies have shown significant improvements in skin health and the signs of aging. So how do hyaluronic acid supplements work? Are they safe? And are the skin serums effective? Hyaluronic acid is present in all connective tissues in the body. It's the backbone that keeps everything together. But as we age, the amount of hyaluronic acid, it gradually decreases to the point where a 75 year old person only has one quarter of the amount of hyaluronic acid in their skin compared to a 19 year old person. So if we can increase increase the amount of hyaluronic acid in the skin, we can strengthen the skin and reduce wrinkles. It sounds great in theory, but hyaluronic acid, it's a really long molecule. So one of the valid criticisms is can we actually absorb hyaluronic acid supplements? Because surely the digestive system would break it down and it would be a complete waste of money. Well surprisingly, that's not the case. We've got multiple animal studies showing that a substantial part of the hyaluronic acid supplements, they are absorbed and in agreement with those findings, multiple human clinical studies also show that it's absorbed. Let's take a closer look at those human studies. Now we're going to be focusing on the randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled studies. The first one was published in 2001, showing that hyaluronic acid supplements, they had a significant decrease in wrinkles compared to the placebo group. Similar findings were found in a separate study published in 2007, as well as in 2017. But how were the wrinkles actually measured because we want objective findings? Well, participants applied a skin replica agent on the corner of their eye, and after it had dried, the participants peeled off those replicas, and those replicas were then analysed using three-dimensional skin analysing software, which is a very objective measure. It's not someone simply looking at the skin and giving a rough estimation about the wrinkle depth, it's actually using skin analysing software. That analysis confirms that the participants that used hyaluronic acid supplements, they had significant decreases in skin wrinkles. I want to spend a bit more time on that 2017 paper, because it used two different forms of hyaluronic acid. As we've gone through earlier in the video, hyaluronic acid is a long molecule, so different supplements have got different lengths or weights of hyaluronic acid. This 2017 paper compared hyaluronic acid supplements with a molecular weight of 2000 compared to 300,000. This is important because we've got preliminary research suggesting that high molecular weight hyaluronic acid is associated with anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer effects, whereas low molecular weight hyaluronic acid is associated with promoting inflammation. But in the the 2017 paper, there were no significant differences between the higher molecular weight and lower molecular weight hyaluronic acid supplements. One potential explanation is that our gut bacteria break down the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid into lower molecular weight hyaluronic acid, and that's what's actually absorbed. In summary, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done to figure out the so-called best hyaluronic acid molecular weight for skin health. For some added context, the hyaluronic acid supplements that I use from a company called Do Not Age, the molecular weight is 2.6 million. That's order of magnitudes different from the 300,000 molecular weight that was used in the 2017 study. There's a lot more work that needs to be done, but for now, I'm going to stick with the higher molecular weight, hyaluronic acid. Since 2017, there were two separate studies, both published in 2021, also confirming benefits with hyaluronic acid supplements. Now, when reading these studies, it's important to consider bias, because most of the studies were published by a company called QPI. But reading through the methods of these studies, they appear sound, so I'm fairly confident that if an independent group used the exact same methods, they would also show benefits from hyaluronic acid supplements. Overall, it's highly likely that we are getting true benefits in terms of skin health from hyaluronic acid supplements, but now it's important to consider safety. Possible side effects include gastric discomfort, but the biggest side effect that's often mentioned on social media is this idea that hyaluronic acid supplements may encourage cancer growth. The concern stems from experiments where they they took genetically altered cells to make them become cancerous, and when hyaluronic acid was added to those genetically altered cells, the cancer growth accelerated. That's a single cell study though. When we have a look at mice that already had cancer and they were given hyaluronic acid, there was no evidence that hyaluronic acid supplements accelerated cancer growth. These findings support the safety of hyaluronic acid supplements. One other potential benefit that I want to mention is osteoarthritis. We've got a small placebo-controlled study showing that hyaluronic acid supplements appeared to be effective for knee osteoarthritis. More research is needed, but that small study is encouraging. That finishes the supplement section, but what about hyaluronic acid skin serums? And here, I'm really not convinced. A large study published in 2020 showed that there were no statistically significant differences between placebo and hyaluronic acid serums, which makes sense because our skin is rapidly turned over, so we want to ideally target the deeper layers of the skin, which will eventually be pushed out to the surface layer that we see. And
And so far, there's no convincing evidence that hyaluronic acid skin serums can penetrate into that deeper layer of the skin where it can have an effect. Specialized versions have been formulated to try and help penetrate into the deeper layers of the skin, but in the current studies that we've got so far, there's no statistically significant differences. So personally, I'm yet to be convinced about the added benefit for hyaluronic acid skin serums, and I don't spend my money on buying those serums. Instead, I plan to continue using 200 milligrams of high molecular weight hyaluronic acid and if you're looking for another supplement to further improve skin health make sure to check out this next video here on collagen a massive thank you to donotage.org for their ten thousand dollar donation to my rapamycin study they are a health research organization and to benefit from their ingredients as well as the 10 percent discount code check out the pinned comment